the Goring weight trainer. The Goring weight trainer, huh? Oh, is that your next? Are you hinting at something? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I don't know where I want to go this season. Man, I, well, I mean... There's too many good options. First off, ladies and gentlemen, the man with no name, nameless, from the Goring 20s, 2023, 50th oh, anniversary. Shit. 50th anniversary. Oh. Yeah, boy. You Let's made get it. it. I mean, last year you 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 killed it in, okay. in Dark Ride. And then this year yep, you cl- I, and you closed out Dark Ride. Congratulations! Yeah, I on killed. That. Yeah, I killed the Dark Ride. You killed the Dark Ride. So you can blame Nameless for that if you want to. No, uh, I got le- I got I got left in the fire there. Somebody did it, and I got left in there. Poor monkey. Poor monkey, man. The monkey. Can we get an F in the chat for the monkey? And like a Terminator monkey. It's all we're doing. Terminator monkey. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, but no, this year you got to play. In the Goring twenties, man. I mean, talk about they finally, they finally let me out on streets. I mean, talk about something that is special, right? Here's puppy, puppy cameo. Puppy, puppy, puppy just got a bath. Um, talk about you know something that is fun for the fiftieth, right there, man. I mean, you're playing on on you know one of the zones that they deem. A lot of people deem the hardest to scare on, especially because of the you know the lighting and everything. And there's not really much hiding, but you guys, for some reason, every single year, not only sell that story, but make it happen. Right up front, yeah. I've yeah, I've been pretty used to not relying too much on like hiding or the darkness and stuff like that. That's kind of like what I started figuring out, even in Dark Ride, where like. Yeah, I can get into the routine of like being in dark areas and like popping out the pop up scares and doing stuff, but then like it's it gets repetitive. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me let me change it up. Let me just be full frontal and see what happens. The first time I was just right there, like in the middle of my room, hunched over like a monkey. Somebody goes into the room, looks at me, and goes, "Nah," <laughs> turns around. So I'm just like, are you kidding me? That works. So sometimes people are just afraid of just your presence. Right. And if you have that demeanor and look, and that's what turns people off when it comes to Gorian. It's just like, there's nowhere to hide. It's lit up. It's almost the same thing as Carnival. Like, it's all lit up. And yeah, like, it's not a bad thing. Like, using darkness to your advantage, like, hey, it's good. People don't expect it. And it works. It's it's a completely different playing field when now it's just like you yourself you have to be scary you're right there there's there's no there's no hiding there's you're you're just out there with your I'm sorry you're just out there with your dick hanging I'm just like ah what do I do and it it'll, it'll test you oh yeah and sometimes sometimes you can't really even think about like what can I do to like scare people because they see you you already have that like surprise element like already gone now what can you do to like either mess with them make them laugh just creep them out just be annoying i guess right and just play off of them they're they're your toy they're in your house they're in your zone so now it's your time to play with them and if you have that mind so just like hi you're in my house you do as i say Uh uh-uh this this ain't this ain't your party this is my party now take a sippy sippy oh you ain't leaving here with a dry you are not leaving this zone with a dry mouth oh stuff like that stuff like that yeah it must have been you know not only like you know taking all those things into consideration but also you know the 50th anniversary man it's a huge milestone for not scary farm you know the 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 first kind of theme park to to really kickstart the haunts uh, at theme parks you know and 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 they really revolutionize the genre, you know the the game as it is as we know it every single year stepping it up every year and and the fi- the 50th was no different you know this not only was a big milestone but it was a good chance for them to really showcase what that history of knots looked like what that that um you know everything leading up to this the, what that yeah, what the that entire was. legacy of what's what this moment led up to yeah yeah it, man i mean it was it for you did you see that kind of uh, a, a sense of just kind of an intimidation because of the of the 50th in the streets or was it a good challenge for you like how did you approach this season with that no it wasn't really like a, a mindset of a challenge it's like wow like i'm here and for me it was a pretty um, 
monumental is a word, but another thing was just like it was really mm, just for the whole year on personal things. Like it was really testing, like seeing like what can I do, what can I do to overcome like things um, on that personal. And now it's just like fifty is like, damn. And now I'm finally on streets. Like it's really testing, like how can I really pull this off? And I was very fortunate on the on the first night, not not dress rehearsal, but like for the public night one of scary farm uh i have an early clock in and uh my my team my lead uh asked me if i wanted to do pre-scare and rope drop like to kick start everything this this little gin runner with a mustache and like shaker just out there again full frontal to really show like what what can i bring is like this is the first impression of people are gonna see me and all right, let's see. Let's see what works. Let's see what fails. Let's just have fun. And to that knowledge, the people that do uh, pre scare and rope drop. That's the thing too for rope drop this year. Like historically, it's mostly just been ghost town right. to do it. It's like you you wait up up front and then calico with the Sarah Marshall and you hear the conductor. And it's ghost town this year. We had people from almost every zone. To like yeah. really represent all of knots and the 50s so that was really cool yeah. we have people from goring yet forsaken carnival cs and it's just everywhere yeah and to really show like okay let's rep let's rep goring let's we were like the it, one it, that, if, that had the it responsibility was it was that it was pretty night. it was pretty it was pretty crazy seeing just almost everybody at the front of ghost town like seeing i think I think Bobbins was there. I think I think Kane was there. Um, I was the Reapers were there. And it was just so crazy seeing everyone, all my friends, all the people like I've looked up to, like scaring wise. Like I'm finally like shoulder to shoulder with them right. on opening nights for the fiftieth. First a bang once once Rope Drop heads welcome to not scary farm, and we just go all out. It. It's it's a moment in my life I don't think I can ever forget, and it, that's something I really hold dear to my heart. Probably well, I mean, rightfully yeah, that so was... too. I mean, it, it, I mean, you 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 talk about a, you know, it's something a, a moment special that we haven't really talked about too much on the channel, and and that was the uh, the rope drop this year. Um, you know, like you said in the past, and 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 all of Not Scary Farm, it's always been just Ghost Town in that area, and that's kind of like the main area for the rope drop and everything. Every little section does that. They, I mean, they used to do their own things, kind of to to start the event. Ghost Town is kind of the lead on that. Um, but to have a lot of the other monsters from the other zones kind of represent their zones and represent Not Scary Farm as a whole, like I think as a fan looking at that and looking at all these people running at oh, yeah. you not just ghost town but like you got carnival you got forsaken you got Gorn, oh yeah you got Gauntlet, whenever, you know? whenever whenever we came out i i get the hearing of people just going like oh crap there's more yeah no <laughs> this is like that's, that's welcome what, that's what makes knots i think one of the most like historic and best haunts in my opinion is like they constantly are willing to step up the game every year to make it a memorable year not only for the people that um that help put it together like you guys and everything you know and backstage all that stuff they you guys make a ton of memories but like for the guests that are out there too you know they're going to be talking about the 50th until the end of time now you know what i mean it's like 25 years at the 75th we're going to be going back and looking back at it and being like yeah you remember the 50th that was a lot of fun remember the 50th yeah. oh my lordy oh my i'm yeah. gonna be i'll be 50 nameless don't make me feel like i'm freaking 80 <laughs> but no i i think that you know that you know uh, we, we've been kind of slowly coming back to that reality of of just really appreciating the 50th not like not saying that we didn't we we loved every single night that we went and everything mm -hmm. but by that i mean on the channel presence now i mean last month we just did the forsaken takeover this month you know we're oh. kicking off the uh trip down memory lane with the going 20s with with you and uh it, nice. it's been it's been a lot of fun to kind of go back and and hear the stories from the 50th i know usually we do these podcasts in november but uh you know i wanted to dedicate more time and and throughout the year to get excited people excited for the next haunt season so um 
you know, going down the trip to memory lane this year, I mean, it was, it was one of my, my favorite scare zones to, to really sit there every now and then and just see what was going to happen. You know, there's yeah, I, so I, much. I saw you, I saw you from time to time. Yeah. There's so I saw much, the, I saw man. that, I saw that strappy, um, band patchy vest who strolled down memory lane. I remember <laughs> I was drunk, but I remember I, he was drunk, but he remembers man. And, and then, you know, to top off, you know, Goring twenties this year to give it, you know, to, to really explore on that backstory more, they, they opened up room 13 right there, which I think really fit in well with the kind of lore of, of what the devil's elixir is, where, where it comes from. And, and the, you know, the story of room 13, um, which was really, you know, really cool to go through, you know, w was it something coming into this one too, that they kind of gave you guys extended lore to kind of know more on for from room 13 rather than kind of capitalize what you guys already already kind of built or were they just kind of continue to let you guys build on what was already there with the foundation and and kind of already that building process no i feel i think my take is a little unique because i used to work in just not day ops right. i used to work in the arcade and i was there when most of the construction was being done right and whenever we had to like restock some of the prizes we had to enter through the exit of room 13 so i saw things that people should not see so it's just like oh shit like i didn't get like any lore but i saw like oh there's gonna be like some big monster at the end that's all i ever heard like before season started and just like okay and like uh, there's like some parts like you just can't enter it's just like okay yeah yeah um then started hearing about like the story and lore about it with 13. That's kind of when I got my parts for Gen Runner, like knowing like, oh, now I'm in Goring. Right. Oh, there's a, a for sure maze in the arcade that, that ties into Goring Room 13. It's a prequel. I'm just like, all right, tied. So it for me, it made me feel a lot more like ready and excited to be in Goring. Because now I get to experience something new as well. It's it's for my first time on streets in Goring, a, a zone I didn't think like I'd be good enough to be in. And now there's also um, a maze in there. And what's cool about that is I've made a lot of friends in Room Thirteen. A lot of them like I've already known, and yeah, it's really cool. And we also had the chance to go through it like before. One of the nights, one of the nights it started, we got to go through it and everybody was in their spots. Like they were like trying to guess whatever. And at the end of it, they kind of wanted to see if they wanted some of the street monsters to go into room 13 and like scare for a bit. I'm just like, down, put me at the front of the list. I will not disappoint. Oh, and yeah. some, some, some people were just like, didn't you just come out of me? Why do you want to go back? It's just, I just love scaring. Like, it's not like. Yeah. It doesn't matter for me. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Like if it's a maze and streets, I don't care. I could still get to scare people and they are two different beasts, but Hey, if you love scaring, just, just do it. You'll have fun. Now, and that's really cool. So you got to, so you got to scare a little bit that one night in, in room 13. Uh, where were you scaring and, and how fun was that for you? I was scaring. Um, I think it was, I, yeah, I was I, because I asked to be like one of the first ones once they allowed us to do that. I think it was around either second or third nights on one of the weekends. Okay, and they put me right after the kitchen scene, right before like the bathroom sequence in in that hallway. So I got to kind of play around. At the time, there wasn't anybody in the bathroom. Like I think they were still on break or something. Right. And so I kind of played in both rooms, in the hallway and the bathroom. So I kind of always said how I did my character this year was I kind of act how I normally act when I'm like blackout drunk, which is not a fun sight. But even then, like, I know how to go about a bathroom when I'm <clears throat> so I'm leaning over the toilet. I'm at the sink and like I have my hands like because there's a mirror there, too. I like I pretend I vomit and I look into the mirror like that thousand yard stare of just like. And people are just walking by, just like that guttural kind of. Whenever I'm in the, 
whenever I was in the room too, there was like a bunch of bottles in there too. So I always acted like I'm sipping it and I act like, oh, the elixir is taking effect and I'm going like full schizo mode. Like I'm friendly. I'm a, how do you do? I'm a, do you want a drink to just full on rampage, just bashing this thing, not up against the wall because the safety reasons and I don't want right. to damage nothing, but just going being just nuts. <laughs> and then very quick, and then very quickly after like yelling to the top of my lungs, I just like, <laughs> slick my hair back, like, hi, darling, how you doing? <laughs> oh, God. And people are just like, what the fuck? Everybody and thinks was... you're actually like freaking, you're just switching on them, like split over here, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. The full like switch. And That's yeah, it was cool. Like hanging out with the maze people, like after it all, like, okay, you're done. Like you can go back to your zone. Just like, all right, all right. let me chill in their break area for like a couple minutes. Dude, and now and now we talk about uh you know the last time we had you on the show we that was the first time we ever had you on the show we 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 talked about your haunt background and everything now we're all caught up as far as we're 2023 where we're at now our next chapter uh you know the goring 20s man for you this year um I I, I figure regardless who you are usually auditioning for anything is fucking nerve wracking uh just to be there and kind of the intimidation what uh i don't want to get you know what the audition process was i don't want to you know spill the secrets of that but for you as far as nerves wise going in and coming out like what was it going in for you and how'd you feel coming out of the uh the interview I, i've done on since 2019 and like i've never been like somewhere consistent like really being at knots since 22 um that's like the only time like i felt like okay here we go again but even then like i've this year will be like my fifth year scaring even then when it comes to auditions now because it's not like i know kind of what to expect but there's always like right when i'm like right there that's when i'm like ah shit <laughs> <laughs> It's like right there, like I'm all amped up. I do like my warm ups and like I get myself psyched in. And then oh, once I'm right in front of the people who are going to decide my destiny, I'm just like, oh, shoot, I think I just gained like five pounds lighter. Ah, oh, crap, I swallowed myself. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's, uh, it's, you, 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 you never cease to impress me. You, you don't. <laughs> it's, it's that part. And, Really, when whatever I try to do, I just when it comes to even just scaring or auditionings, I do what I do, and I always try to get in the mindset of like, okay, now what more can I do? Right. Because being like the like the example in Dark Rise is like, yeah, I'm a monkey. I hide around. I be annoying. Whatever. Then starting to think like, okay, now what else can I do? So that's like, oh, I'm actually walking around, right. just being weird. Right. And I'm just like I'm not hiding anymore, and yeah, I've I've most of my additions like I've shown a lot of athleticisms, like rolling around, jumping, diving, whatever, Trotsky kick, and and pretty sure that's kind of how I also got my spot in Goring as a gin runner. Like, I'm just a spry young lad going free, border hopping so I can sell my booze uh, for my own business, but the man says it's illegal. I don't know, man. I gotta ask. Now I gotta ask something about that real quick. The mustache. Everyone wants to know. Real or fake? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about last season. That was that was 100% authentic? It's He's both. the man. He's the man. It's both. Because I, I have a mustache like already, but they just paint over it which i i kind of liked because i have a bit of a bald patch right here like when when i grow it all out it's not noticeable but when it's like trimmed or whatever it's pretty noticeable so whenever they paint it, it's like oh thank god like no one's gonna see my bald patch i mean Fuck, it, 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 i, I mean, it the, so much the work the look rocks you, you you rock that shit well you know what i mean like that was yeah, that was it, a good look for you to be honest with you it was it was kind of from the last gin runner who played that role too because he also had a mustache right i believe did it did yeah. he do it that way and then he just kind of replicated that or did he do the they had the same I, idea I think, for a, like they did i think you. it was kind i think it was kind of sad i think they probably had like a picture of like what they wanted and they just they just decided, okay, you're the mustache one. I'm like, all right, cool, bet. So I already have a mustache, but I don't mind it. Right. So so you get the role, um, and yeah, yeah but a later because like for our dress rehearsal, I think. Oh no, I think night one, where like they didn't have the paint on me, and it was just right. my natural mustache. And then throughout like 
the second night and onwards, then they painted it on. I was like, okay. So I have pictures of both of them. Nice. Yeah. The before and after looks, huh? The the evolution yeah. is what I like to so call I mean, it. Like, they both they both look good, but it's just like you you, you just can't go wrong with a stash. No, That's all can't. I'm saying. You just can't go wrong with a stash. Hey man, you're you're you know, one to talk right there. Let's let's do it. Let's let's go. The stash gang right there. I like it. I like it. Um, so obviously you go through your audition process. Uh, was there something that you kind of were really aiming to get, or was it just kind of one of those things where like it's the fiftieth? I just want to be involved in it. Obviously, um, because all my friends from Queen, they mostly got Carnival, so I would have loved to finally be like a clown, like with the rest of my friends. But I really just give it up to wherever Nazi deems like they'd feel like i'd be a good spot and i for me i trust Knotts' um auditioning team to really seek out what is best for you and how you can develop more and more and more it's like yeah being in mazes is not a bad thing you just have to really work with what you got and just show what more can you do in the confinement of a maze which is just like hey you're always on you always have to keep scaring with maze with um streets you can kind of have that leeway of just like kind of just walking around like minding your own business and then you can be like all right i'm gonna get you and they're both their own beasts and you still you have to find that balance of just like maze mode streets mode like if you can do both if you can wire your mind to do both or one after the uh, one more than the other hey that's fine like some people can't do streets and are awesome in mazes and there are some people who can only do streets and just can't do mazes right like some people are just wired differently when it comes to scaring school of you can do both but like it's totally understandable if like some people can legitimately like excel at one over the other and there's no bad option right there's no bad option right and that's that's why that's why i always try to like really like um, take that initiative and inclusivity of just like hey room 13 what's up because most of us for goring um we really wanted to invite them out for like one of the the tiger crawls and thank god for um halloween night we got a good majority of them like out like i don't know like how the logistics of it like really went down to like maybe close room 13 for a while or they had like backup people but yeah, they dragged them out. And while we were doing the tiger crawl, da, 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 people from room 13 just start rushing the zone and just like, let's go <laughs> on Halloween night. Like, this is it. Welcome to Goran. <laughs> right, man. They got their going their out little... with a bang. Oh, yeah. They got I, I love fun. I love everybody. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome, dude. So no, and, 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 you know, you, you, that's, that's, I think that the, the, the idea of goring 20s is just such a a, such a perfect time to have it especially with us kind of living in our own version of the 20s now you know and it's just what a better time to kind of bring back the uh the history of the 20s in the 1920s and now we get to live our in our 2020s 100 years later yeah yeah man i mean it's 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 like like i was saying though man like you know i can only imagine finding out getting casted inside of fucking goring 20s man you get that you get that fucking call or that 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 call back in and and you're just like yeah we're gonna we're gonna give you the goring 20 spot like that right there must have been just like for you just kind of because you i was not that was not on my list of like where i'd like to go just like oh okay the thing that was not on the list yeah but i mean i you dude you made the absolute most of that character and 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 you had you guys had a lot of new people come in this year, um, and a lot of you know a lot of returning faces of the Goring Twenties that really knocked it out of the park again. So the new faces really kind of brought their own shine and 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 spin on things. And I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, a lot of key moments with a lot of key players. Talk to me what it's like to play in that playground that is Memory Lane, dude. Because it is it may be a small zone, but you guys utilize the shit out of it, and you guys utilize it very well. It is just an avenue of life from the tracks to starbucks um every corner every street has like its own like thing and i can kind of play wherever i really wanted for me i mostly stayed from like starbucks to the exit of bumper cars like 
I'll I'll from time to time and go from like the newspaper to the tracks, but it's not like my main play area. Um, but yeah, being able to play off of the the preachers, most of the time I messed with the um McKen- That's uh for the gin runner. He's free range to play off of whoever he really wants to be flirty with the um the flappers to be annoying with the mob bosses to just i can just do whatever just like hey, here you go go run around and it's in the name go run around go run and around so so many times people either um uh, co-scarers or photographers or guests they're just like slow the fuck down <laughs> i'm just like nah man and, you, and, you and, and quick. If, I, i've seen you not only out, uh, in haunt but i've seen you like practice outside of haunt you're a quick motherfucker with a lot of adrenaline i don't know how you do it but you do it water um water. electrolytes fruits and working out i don't know <laughs> Damn working <enough>. out. <laughs> c4 well, I, I didn't take that much. I actually no, I did not even take C four this season. It was just like um, liquid IV. That's all I really took in gamer subs, which is just a light energy. Because I don't, this motherfucker does not need high energy. I just <laughs> go. I I feed off of, I feed off of more other people's energy, especially like, yeah, playing off of um, your uh, I'm a, I'm gonna tell some stories right now. Some both, stories. Like, new, Get them in there. New people and like um, vets. Like, uh, Yuri, uh, one of the other gin runners, he made his own character, which is like this Russian like person from like war and stuff. Like he told me like his whole story and like his background with theater. Just like, dog, you're legit. <laughs> and um, being able to like scare with him for a while because he mostly like tends to go on his own, but we both got to do a scare. We scared this chick so badly. She ran into the arcade and her family is like outside of it. And she would not leave for a solid two minutes and she would not budge. And so, because I used to work in the arcade, and that's <laughs> also one of our borders. Um, I looked at one of the parents, kind of broke character a little bit. I looked at her and just go, I'm going to get in trouble. And I walk inside that she didn't notice, and I snuck around some of the arcade machines because I I know how they work. Yeah. And I go right next to her, and I just go, "Hey, yeah, darling," and she goes uh, sprinting out of there into Carnival. Oh man, dude, she's <laughs> you're, like, she's you're, full blown. She, she full blown, and Yuri didn't see, and Yuri was still like looking for her. And I looked at her, he's like, "Where did she go?" And I looked at her, I just go. I walked in the arcade. <laughs> He goes, you did not. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh my, my oh, comrade. <laughs> oh, that dude. was awesome. And then you know um, and that, one and that's of- that's something I for me right there when I look at things like that, that is old school knots right there. Like it's that is like something a- that used to see back in the day a lot. Like, and then they kind of like, put a stop hey, to she's it. Not, but- it's like, hey, she's not budging. It's like, yeah, we could have just walked off and just let her well, meander her that? own way out of there. We're just like. What's it's the literally fun just the. Come on. I didn't go. I didn't go that deep into the arcade. It was literally like right at the entrance where the right. raving rabbits and one of the new like pull down shooting games, like VR games, yeah, yeah. But it, that that right side was blocked off with other crane machines, so people had just leaving thirteen would have to walk all the way around and out the front. Um, yeah, it, I did not like go in the like in the back or uh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Dude. was done. Was done. And I, with um, yeah, Kate, I, I remember having with, so much good moments in that that zone, dude. With Sasha Songbird, one of the rookies, I've known her for years with like photo shoots and stuff. But it's more like, hey, how you doing? Stuff like that in the right. past. But figuring out that oh, I'd actually be working with her is like, hey, let's go. Like, yeah, we, it was cool getting to like know her and like co scare with her. And it, I was fortunate enough to, to, we both got assigned to do um, pre scare together. And we, like, there was one part, like, right at the very, like, front of pre scare where, I don't know, we were just kind of, like, enacting how 
life would be like in going 20s we kind of just linked arms and just like talking about like whatever the news our business the song oh you're gonna sing tonight darling all right all righty make sure you come out and listen to her sing and there was this group right in front of us and we just like without like communicating to each other we're just like i'm gonna scare that way i'm gonna scare that way Mm -hmm. all right break and we both split twirl to do our thing she does her thing with her microphone i span around i had my thunder jump and there's this footage of it and the dude like jump he goes ah i didn't get me yeah i got you (laughs) nah i got you you flinch i caught you i'm sorry i got you game over just that simultaneous simultaneous like neuron activation just like Boom, let's get these two groups. Right. Bang, we got both of them. Starting the night strong. Like, that was awesome. I That's one of my favorite scares. I mean, I think you two always, like, especially walking through Goring 20s, I would always see you two reenacting or killing each other or all that fun stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it, there was always fun moments with you I guys. killed her. She killed me. She strangled especially me. During, I just especially on during the, uh, the witching hour for you guys. Every time it would go off, it was, like, always that moment of just kind of the clock would tick down, and then you guys would just kill each other. Yeah, our, our death clocks. Yeah. Those are fun. Witching hour, witching hour was fun, too. Yeah. I mean, those, 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 I mean, talk to me about, like, that. I mean, that seems like a lot of fun to just kind of play that role, and then all of a sudden die and then all of a sudden it's like nothing ever happened (laughs) dog the first time like i ever went through goring like like most people you kind of just walk through it so she's like okay whatever right but one day um i was hanging out with um scott uh dieterman because he had one of his friends working there and just talking whatever and me me and some friends we were just standing around just like actually like kind of taking in everything that's going on just like wait a minute this is pretty this is pretty cool. Like the music is playing and all that. And then I hear the death clock. I was just like, mm-hmm. and seeing everybody drop legitimately terrified. And he's like, the fuck just happened. Yeah. And then the, and then the vid, 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 like nothing happened. I was just like, what was that? I've never been like, so oh, like man. scared by like an immersive zone like that. Dude, it's it's something, especially when you're imagine like, like if you like if you if miss you, it, you miss it. Yeah, but if you walk through at the right times and it just happens as you're walking through it, like it is something that is just one of those things where I'm just like, what the hell? It's like if, if it's your first time ever going through it, I'm just gonna be like, what the hell is happening right now? But then yeah, Boring, as a yeah. fan, you're just standing there like, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> For me, like there's a lot of zones like that where it's like, hey, you had to be there, you had to be there. If you miss it, well. If you know, you know. You know, you know. Uh, you got to work with a lot of really uh, also strong talent in that zone, man. I mean, I talk to me, doing. man. There, there's so many. There were so many people in there. Talk to me about uh, interactions you would have with them to kind of keep that Goring Twenty story alive and to keep your part alive. I mean, I, I, I would see you interact with just about everybody, dude, and just have your key moments of just having fun with the the elixir, man. Oh yeah, with. All that, some of the best people like that I've looked up to for the longest time, like Quartz, um, Elijah, the the main, the main, the main man, the main whiskey man, uh, you with the pink tutu. He's such a sweetheart because there were moments where I don't know we didn't notice each other, and we go for the exact same scare, and we bump into each other. And we always play it off of just like, oh, like a drunken like escapade or whatever. Just like, oh, I'm sorry, my lad. Oh, were you walking this way? Oh, watch your step. You're looking good. All righty. Wipe the wipe the muck off of you. All righty. You, what are you looking at? And we do our things with the with our shakers and stuff. So funny. But yeah, this is every time like the first time that happened, I apologized so badly. Like on like a dm he's like hey no he's like hey no problem like that just means we're both on that same like mindset like great minds think alike and sometimes those great minds literally crash into each other yeah for real right it's like i mean they call it that's why they call it the they that's why a lot of people uh or as i like to refer haunt sometimes as uh it's sometimes a human demolition derby 
Yeah, I I love that dude so much. And one person I really got like the privilege to scare with and mess with a lot was um one of the one of the flower girls, uh, Nancy. And, like the first time, like almost almost like every week, I broke her some way or shape or form. The first time it happened was at the um at the newsstand where okay. Um, breaking illusion it's a there's a slide door like on the sides of them like if we're right. like we really need to catch our breath our, our breath for, like five minutes like we kind of go in there chill for a little bit and whatever or we use it to our advantage for scares or bits or whatever so i think it was like right after one of the jazz sets and i after the first one i always go in there just to catch my breath because i go hard when it comes to dancing i i, fre- I freaking <laughs> dance. you give it all your all hey every you give it a hundred percent or nothing right even the moments where I'm just like, oh, I, I literally can't dance right now, okay? Like, I'm I'm just going to wander around. What ends up happening at the night? What always ends up happening at the very end? And at the tiger, I'm not going full sprints. And he's like, oh, I'm just going light. I'm just going light. I'm just going light. Oh, yeah, going light, then just and full fucking force. Full sending it. Anyways, I go into the newsstand just to catch my breath. And I check the time. Just like, okay, what's, what's going on? Whatever. Are we having plans for, like, Denny's or whatever? And I hear a knock on the side. I'm like... Who, Cause nobody really does that. Like it's either like um, somebody else in going. Like most of the time, they just open the door and like they go in and check whatever. Right. Or somebody told them to do them. Like great, I have to deal with a guest. It's just like somebody set them up for this. And <laughs> here's here's Nancy. She's not even looking at me because she didn't expect anybody in there. And I open the door, and I'm already in character. I'm just like. Ew, what do you want? She looks back and she starts laughing hysterically. Come on, speak up, little was flower she, lady. What do you with, want? Was she with guests or was she just like? No, she herself? was just by herself. She was just knocking just because and just didn't. I don't know. Maybe she thought like she'd just be knocking at it like just for no reason. And then maybe a guest would ask like, hey, what are you knocking at that door? For? What are you knocking on that for? And then she'd probably do something. But no, here's me just like. Yo, what do you want? Speak up. Come on, give me the money. Give me the money so I can give you the thing. The th- She's like, the thing? And she's like, yeah, the thing. So hand it. Hey, you are. And I slammed the door. Wait for like a couple seconds. I open it back up. You have fun there? And she's like, oh, dude, I have a little bit too much. She's like, all right, give it back there. You walk safely now. Thank God you don't drive, woman. I know, and she like- breaks. Because <laughs> nobody else was around. <laughs> Be easily. <laughs> funniest thing and then back in the break we're just like you good and she's like i did not know you were in there that was funny as shit <laughs> she is so hilarious like we 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 talked with her in 22 mm-hmm. and um we talked with her in 22 and then we we brought up something that we said in 22 last year for 23 and she like straight up remembered the conversation and everything um and she is so hilarious and 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 helps bring that zone yeah. to life and and does i think amazing job in that role of of just tending to the garden and then walking I, around and doing other stuff like it is insane i love those moments where it's just like you know what just off of a whim just like i like this person now like after that like just mimicking her like making fun of her like in character like being playful like there was one night where we like it was like last man standing on the on the light pole, which is like the last one to like have their hand on it. Like that's their pole like forever. And we would not let go for like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> like we were dead set to not let go of this light pole. <laughs> Dude, another thing I love that you guys did this year, oh, what I noticed is you guys would have like little get togethers around the the blind tiger facade door right there and kind of like run little deals or whatnot like i thought that was hilarious like you guys would always change it up and do different things like talk to me a little bit about i saw you part of those a couple of times like to to peek your head in to see what was going on and well like tell me a lot about how did that start going because like that was something new for this year that i really really noticed that more people got involved with oh so okay here's the thing a lot of people think that our, our witching hour was the death clock, and that's why I always call it the death clock. Like that's a de- for the fiftieth. Um, every zone was like supposed to have like their witching hour for like right. the whole big fiftieth. Um, sadly, not all the zones were able to really do it. 
think Carnival and Forsaken were the almost who couldn't do it. I think Ghost like Town for, too. Yeah. Uh, I think around the end they started doing it a lot more. And anyways, like yeah, CS has theirs, which is the sliding show. Ghost Town has like they revert back to what they used to be before they were cursed. And for Goring, ours was the um, um, ours was the Blind Tiger, and like I think twice a night. We would um, all gather right at the Blind Tiger, and we all like do this, um, like hear ye, hear ye, like citizens of Goring, citizen, no, citizens of Memory Lane. We have some, deep, we've had these preachers over here calling us build rats, dew droppers. They say we belong in the in the in the slammer with the stupas, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Most of the time, like Court would do it. Um, one of the uh, one of the news people would do it. I did it once. And it's basically just us bashing up against like the the preachers. It's like they want to be on their high horse. All right, let's give them a drink of the of the devil's elixir because they're so pure and mighty. Or whatever, here, have a drink, and we kill them. <laughs> yeah, I would was, love to see like for fun. Goring Twenties to add to add more like heightened drama for the for the guests because we all know a lot of it's mob running and you know corruptness and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's usually what the mob world is and, 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 and everything as far as movies go, you know what I mean? And they kind of, they kind of really did get that really well with the movies and stuff. Um, I feel like at the very end, we kind of like really ramped up like the mob like motif because the last night, um, we just executed everybody. (laughs) Like Yuri held the charge of just killing off everyone. Damn, just one by one, on just the whacking them all. One by one, yep. Like and scene. there's me. Like a dance and the, from and this, yeah, there was there, and <laughs> everybody there. And then there's me. There's footage of just me standing there, just like looking like a traumatized child with a sign that says "Jin is a win." Jin is a win. Oh man! <laughs> yeah. And I just like mortified. I'm just like, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Just what the heck is going? And I'm just seeing all my friends getting murdered, <laughs> like a oh, foreseer. Man. I'm like the for- I'm like the foreseer. The end is nigh, kind of person. The end is elixir. <laughs> I should have had that sign. The end is elixir. Dude, how was it? Now, like you know, you look at such a great season you had, man, and then you know it started to wind down to that final night in Halloween for you. Obviously there was a lot of special moments with room 13 coming out and doing stuff, but what was it like kind of closing out Goring twenties for another successful year for you, man? Or it was the first year for you, but another successful one for the zone overall. Oh yeah. It, it was something because I didn't expect to have that much fun in a zone and to really do my best um, for the character, for the zone, and for scares, I feel like I found a lot stronger uh, hold on how I scare, what I do good as a scare actor, and really just seeing myself. I, I felt a lot of imposter syndrome um, for this being like my legit first year on streets after five years of like mazes and all that. Even though like yeah, I'm on uh, Queen Mary Slider team. I'm doing like small events. Like I, it's kind of like, that's kind of like test driving, like how to do on streets. Right. But to like find official, like on knots grounds, it's like, it's, Hmm. it's something. And to really have the, the identity and courage and fortitude to know that I can do this. I do belong out here. Even when there's like some people or whatever, um that say like otherwise or like whatever or even that's just my own monologue was just like you always hear shit from other people like oh this and that or this zone like didn't do that good or whatever like you still gotta you still gotta remember like you're there for that purpose you're there because some people in management saw that you can do it and you should feel happy about it that you are here and not not missing out right like once yeah. you, once you're once you're hired by Scary Farm, it's just like, hey, you got this, and you gotta hold on to that like, one hundred percent. Even if you feel like a background character, you you still add to a part. You're still a part of that memory. You're still a part of the circus. You're still, um, 
you're still another person like holding on um in the procession you're still somebody cursed by sarah marshall you're still somebody um going through that gauntlets and and i i really mean that for like everybody in the zones really mean that for everybody in the mazes and yeah it was very tear jerking at the very end just like oh man it's over and i actually had like so many good moments so many good guest moments i didn't expect would happen uh and a lot of gratitude over everything i've been through um this past year it felt so gratifying it felt so conclusive and it felt so much sweeter um holding on um to a jersey like yeah a lot of people like, at the end of the day like it's just a jersey it's just close but i really commemorates 62 yes. that's the number on my back because that's how long my dad was alive and yeah he he passed away this year and i dedicated my haunt season to him so that's was, awesome man it was Hell really yeah cool. he'd be very it proud really man cool. you know he'd be very proud of you he would and uh you know man it's it's great and that's why we were doing you know and that's that's uh, you know you talked about every zone you know and 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 how they all contribute to something and how they all, all mean you know everyone is involved with something bigger mazes zones it's you know, it's it's one of those things where that's why we we were taking it upon ourselves to start these months to dedicate to the zones and the and the people that have to work with to show our appreciation and to hear the stories of of people who uh who who brought these zones to been, life. Because it's been fifty years, this thing is still kicking. Yeah. And for fifty years, a bunch of us still love this. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So that being said, looking forward to fifty one, man uh what 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 your mindset right now would you want to return to goring 20s to kind of expand on that story are you looking to if you can get somewhere else that'd be cool like or are you just kind of in the mindset of i just want to be there again just put me where would you think i'd fit perfect i'm so tempted because most of the time in the paperwork for audition like they this is kind of like the only thing i'd really ever say like you can kind of put where you would want to go just right so I don't know. I don't know if they really ever take that into consideration. Maybe for people who've been there longer, just like, okay, you want to come back, like rehiring's a thing. But I'm very tempted for this year to just leave it blank. <laughs> and just see where they put you, huh? Just see where they put me. Cause I've I still want to be a clown. I feel like that would still be fun. Um Gauntlet. I've had a couple ideas. I kind of want to be like a Smeagol kind of like character. I would love to do that or something along with like gauntlets so many of my friends are in forsaken and oh my god forsaken popped off this year Again. and i'll i'll say this 100 percent. i fucking i hated forsaken like in years past it's just like whatever i don't give a shit about the zone but these cracked psychopaths i walked in for into forsaken and they would not leave me alone <laughs> i put a target on your back too because my i had a target on my back too Cause I didn't come in with nothing. I, I hardly ever come in with like knots merch or whatever. I didn't have my Jersey at the time. So just like, I kind of just looked like whoever, but they were, they just knew who I was and just like, get him. I just like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Yeah. They got you, and man. Yeah, they, they had you on the list. Yeah. I, they, they totally changed They totally changed my mind. I'm mean, that person changed my mind. They actually changed my mind. Dude, they they were on fire this year. Goring was on fire this year, man. So yeah, I would so I wouldn't mind being like a grave digger for Forsaken Lake, Ghost Town, because a lot of people have left, and I feel like the way I scare belongs in Ghost Town. Very feral, animalistic hunter, like predator, like kind of kind of type animal. Yeah, I feel like um, as long as long as you're out there, we, I know next year though we're gonna see we're gonna see Nameless with pads. Let's let's see, and then yeah, going. I would love to do Gin Runner again, or even you know what? Because there's there's a lot of flapper girls, but there was still a bunch of dudes who dance, so I wouldn't mind bringing up like a male dancer. That'd be dope. That'd be Someone really dope. Who's there for fun? Yeah, that'd be really kinda, dope, it's man. Ki it's kind of it's kind of mob bossy, but like all the mob people, like they're big and burly. It's just like you know, you can still have somebody on the smaller side. Yeah, you, know, you got the bronze night. Now, now I need someone with the brains, someone with the charm, someone with the hey, how you doing? Someone with the money, man. Someone <laughs> with the money. 
The money, big dog. And I'm just like, damn it. I I legitimately do not know what I want to do this year. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, I'll tell you, you what. You know what, dude. full send? I'll leave it blank. I'll leave, leave it blank. It. We'll leave it blank for the 2024. So 2024, nameless, question Who mark. Knows? Who just knows? Just a question mark is it. Dude, it doesn't matter where you go. You know we always support you, man. You, you're part of the QM Slider team. We, we have a very good standing relationship with all you guys there. And we love each and every one. We're actually all close friends. So, I mean, you know, I see you everywhere. I, I see you at all the conventions. I see you at all the, the meetups. You're, you know, we always run into each other. Our paths there, yeah. always meet. Yeah, we always we always run into each other, man. And no matter where you go next year, dude, it's going to be it's gonna be amazing. It's going it's, to... I'm, I'm curious to see what... You know, since everything you've gotten to maybe soak in and learn from year one on streets, you get to take that and add more to it or even learn more from it, you know, and I can't wait to see where you go, uh, what you do and whatnot. So, dude, I mean, congratulations on a fucking phenomenal 50th anniversary in the Goring 20s, man. You earned that spot. That was just so much fun to watch you work every single night, watch you scare. Um, and and I knew when we were going to do uh, a Goring 20s month that you were going to be you're going to be the one that I had to get on here. Cause I, I promised you that I was like, yeah, we we're going to do it in there. We're going to do a podcast and we're going to talk about some goring twenties, man. So thank you so much again for, for taking the time to even come on the show, man. I really appreciate it. And also I want to thank you also for suggesting a lot of people from forsaken Lake. Little did you guys know, Martin was really behind the scenes, helping me set up some podcasts for forsaken Lake, uh, introducing me to Sage. I just want to get that one, get that one. And yeah. Oh my God. So Martin was what, helping me uh, a lot behind the scenes. So thank you very much for actually helping organizing Forsaken Month as well. Um, you you really helped a, a ton out there, so I appreciate you. Um, but, dude, for all those who want to keep up with you uh, year-round, I know you're going to be doing stuff with probably QM Slider later in the year. Um, and, and, you know, you got other things probably coming up, meetups, events, wherever. Uh, where can people find you to, to keep up and, and follow follow with the, the, the man with no name, Nameless? Yep. Uh, I got our Instagram, uh, QMS underscore nameless, Queen Mary sliders. And yeah, I'm most, I'm mostly just, I lift weights. I go to the rink. Like you can always probably see me at the rink Tuesdays or Thursdays. That's like my favorite days. So Tuesdays or Thursdays, I'm, I'm bound to be there. Um, and I didn't sign any NDAs on this, but most of me and my friends from the lake, we're going to be up in Six Flags for Scream Break. Yes, I had heard about this. Auditions have been going really well, I heard, and uh, it's going to be starting up pretty soon. I'm looking forward to it, and mm -hmm. I had heard about this. Didn't know you were part of it, though, so that makes it a lot more fun now, too. So can't wait to see what you guys do with the, uh, the, 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 the shift over to Scream Break, man, for a good couple weeks. Like just a just a good mid like right right in the middle of that. Hey man, just uh, enough to that get the waiting fix, period. Right? You gotta get that fixed. I, just, I, just, I gotta I gotta I gotta restock. I gotta restock. Look, they're all empty. They're all empty. Come on, getting them going, man. We gotta get them going for the next. Gotta round. get them going. There we go, man. Well, yeah. I need that next that. round. You can find Martin uh, when it opens up uh, for their run of Scream Break. Uh, so when he has, when he is officially able to tell you where he's going to be scaring and all that, then he'll probably post it up on his social. So go follow. Him I on don't his even know where. He doesn't even know where, man. They're just getting hired. I just on. know I'm hired. They're just, just getting hired, hired on. Um, <laughs> Nameless, again, you're always welcome back on the show, uh, and we can't wait to see what happens with you in 2024. But with all you guys watching, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Keep tuning in week after week. We are now in the Goring 20s month, a trip down memory lane. Uh, we got a stacked lineup of, of guests uh, that you're going to see in the next couple of weeks, uh, and it all kicked off with Nameless himself. So uh, stay tuned. Follow us on all of our social medias. Link down below. Uh, also, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification to be aware of every time we put up a new video. You're not going to want to miss these podcasts. I get a lot of good um, feedback from them, and I keep doing them because they're freaking fun and they're great to learn. Um, but with nothing else more, until the next video, stay spooky.